Hey guys, what is up? It's Daily Gaming Sifias Vescor here, and we're reviewing a uh, solo lane gameplay of Bologna. I got sent this video by Andrea Radunovic, I think, in my comment section of the Send Me Your Gameplay video, so we're gonna get right into it. Let's do this! Death's Toll, Teleport, Level 2. I would have gone for 5-3 just in case. Like, you can always sell the potions for 33 gold. So, extra sustain helps a lot. Especially when you're against a high lane pressure opponent like Odin. Where he's just gonna outclear you, and there's really. That really. Oh, much that you can do about it. Skip four. Come on. Okay. All attack. Guys are uh, looking to take these mids. I would back off. I'm going for jungle buff. I'm going for jungle buff. Yes. singing a song. You guys are a little bit late on clear. Remember, in, in this patch, you guys had to be like, you gotta be like on that shit. You know, you gotta be like. Go. And you're tanking this. Okay, that hurt you guys' efficiency because you were already late to the back hands. So you're gonna take this head to lane. Is this the one or two boars? Meta. Okay. I don't know yet. We'll find out. This is an old patch, nice wow. Job. Okay, so Mercury came away. Good call back in the I think you should just kept running there. And gotten your one instead of your three. Hey, over there. A little bit more survivability. Because they have a lot of push early. Between the burst bomb damage and Mercury's three. Okay, I'm probably gonna die here. That'll be first blood. Listen, if there's like two people in your lane like that, like you gotta back off. That's that's super risky. Now Nezhan's going to 1v2 after you died. Oof. I understand like not wanting to back off because like you could be fine or like, you just want them to turn, but like... You gotta watch out because like... I'm saying like way too much. But anyways, you have to watch out because... Lanes like this that have a, a shit ton of kill pressure early will really abuse that. They'll fuck you up. And like you're going back in again, and you don't even know where their runner is. And you guys might die here again. Like you might die here because right? you have no mana. And you guys are chasing this kill. And Odin might actually get a double kill here. Be careful. Be careful. Be right back. Yeah, he's he's probably gonna kill that Scylla. Oh no, she got out. Okay. Yeah, that was just really risky. And right now Kronos is here. Good call backing off there, because you, you definitely would have died if Kronos had had that stun. You're just playing a, like, a little bit too aggressive, and it's no kind of it's hurting you because you're losing a lot of farm right now for only one kill, and you also died earlier, and... Now the nope, Odin is, I think, 2-0. So, now you're facing against a much harder lane, as well as you've been losing XP because you were rotating Enemy early. Left, and you didn't clear your Enemy boar at the right. beginning, so you're going to be losing out on that XP as well. Ultimate is ready. So yeah, you just... You, you put yourself a little bit far behind, and now he's got like a full level on you and you can take your, your boars. But you need to get that wave. Yeah, in that case, like, after you had died, I wouldn't have kept rotating. He's gonna take that over. Okay. Oh, she probably kill him here. Yeah, you're chasing a little hard here, and your mid lane isn't rotating. 
so you should back off. You have no mana. This is so risky. Like, if anyone on their team came right here, you'd be dead. You'd be very, very dead. Okay, good idea to steal his bowl since he stole yours. Oh, Nezhao, please, you could have gotten a kill. You had your ultimate, too. Ugh. Please, Nezha. Be careful. Hmm. Yeah, you're you're rotating way too much. Like, you're the same level as their jungler. Their ADC is ahead of you. You're the same level as their mid laner. When you're getting like uncontested solo farm, or at least you should be. So you're actually really far behind right now. And you you would be a lot. You'd be in a much better position if you didn't rotate. You just stayed in solo. Like, even getting that kill didn't really do much for you because it's an early game kill. No reason to hold back. I can understand the chasing, though. It makes sense. I would go to the wave, yeah. You should have gone to your wave and then... Sort of, and then asked, um... Now you gotta hold your blue. Cause you're missing out on... Oh, you're missing out on even more XP by not being at the wave. Like, you probably are gonna... Okay, and now you're doing bowlers, so you're gonna miss... I think that entire wave, actually, which is really bad for you. Cause you're already in a bad place, XP-wise. Cause everyone on your team is a higher level than you. Like, even your support. Well, everyone's equal to you, except for your dual lane, which is splitting it. Which is not be happening. Like you really need to be in lane a lot. Know more your often. enemy. Because it's kind of screwing you here. Take this jungle buff. Enemy missing left. Slow in here. Ooh. Rally! Good call going towards your team. Because now you have the support of the guy. Yeah, you got that. Just slow in here. Yeah. You played that fine. I still think that, like, you shouldn't have really picked a fight. Especially after. Uh, Mercury came in because you were low and you had, you had like low mana. You had, like, look at this, like you had mana for one ability. It's just super risky, and like, this is risky as well. Standing in his tower line like that, you don't know where their mid laner is. He could easily rotate, stun you, use his one, and then kill you. I really hope you back after this wave. You're super low. Oh, don't chase Odin, please don't chase Odin. You're using like all of your mana trying to secure kills and it's it's not working out. Enemy, out of Sorry. Your right tower is under attack. Be right back. Enemy missing right. Okay. Gotcha. Enemy missing middle. Mm, no Scylla. No Scylla. Okay. No ho ho, you have no mana. This is a bad call. <laughs> I don't know why I still want to do a time. I don't know where her damage came from. That was the winner here. They're gonna get four and more bonuses. Wait, is it Thor support? Right. What the fuck? Yeah. Right. Alright, for support. That sounds new. Not that will do well enough. Right okay. Doing a good job with wards. Okay. I typically wouldn't still be buying potions. And you don't need to teleport since your team is already in your lane holding it, so you're not risking any like tower pressure or anything like that. But it is a good call to teleport in this circumstance just because um, 
knights. I'm going to get the XP since we're rotating so much early. If I were you, I would have stunned him there because like, he has enough damage to kill that guy. He probably would have. If I had stunned him a little bit earlier, I would have been able to run away. No, not fair! Observation is the key to victory. I'm trying to focus on killing him so much in these sort of situations, but as like helping your team. An enemy has been This is also risky. Because we're using a lot of men. That was really Help! worth it. Enemy ultimate down! Is this YouTube? Is this I'm not sure what you're doing here, you should really be with your team. Rally here! Oh, oh, oh never mind, you still got no, the team. You should have been with your team there, in my opinion. Not well you know. Enemy ultimate incoming! Enemy Fights, so we're not really getting too much out of it. Sorry. Cause like you're level ten and their Uller is level eleven and they, like your Geb, Shabalanke, Neja and Scylla are all like within a level of you and that should not really be happening. An ally has Ooh. been slain. Be careful, middle, be careful, middle. Your right tower is under again. attack. You need to get your blue, your boar, and then go to the wave. Like, you need XP, dude. Defend the gold fury. Okay, good job focusing on the wave. <laughs> An ally That's has enough. been slain. Right. I don't think you should be really invading his boars right now because you don't really have that much lane pressure. And you don't have eyes on their jungler. And you don't have a ward that's like out there in this area ish. Because you've got a ward like either up here or up here, you would have better eyes on their jungler. And if you just invaded their boars right here, you would have no eyes on their jungler. Or their full support. So yeah, I wouldn't really invade that, no, invade enemy. those boars, right especially if you don't have any lane pressure. Right like, if you had lane pressure and he'd been sitting under tower like that entire time, he'd be too scared to rotate. Like, for a fact, he'd be way too scared to rotate enemy out, so you'd be fine. Okay, good call instantly open out. No reason to fuck with that. Good call to them to go to the and see you know, that. <laughs> Oh shit. Enemies have returned to have to edit that out. Oh. It came with no warning. I like that you're just sitting in my farming. This is what you should be doing. Your middle tower is under attack. <sighs> Alright, you don't need to be going into damage here. Ikaval's not even worth it on Bologna. Like, you shouldn't really be getting 
Pick a ball and any. And these characters are now. I don't think. I don't even think hunters are building Ikaval. This was like, what, what was this, like a month ago? Yeah, hunters are building Ikaval a month ago. But, Bologna, no. You don't even need that. Has been slain. Enemy missing left. It's not really worth it. Pulled a thread out, and now the pattern is a little bit off. Look at this. But, yeah, like, Killing spree. you don't need to be going into damage, you need to get tankier. Like, if you're going into damage, you need to be getting Double a frost kill. round. Because you don't need the attack speed on Bologna. Like, she has a basic attack oriented god, but, like, the only items that you need for that are, like, frost and Like, you don't need. Yeah. Ball. Like, that's not worth it. Ah, because, like, it doesn't give that much in terms of stats. Let's switch it up. Just staying a little right long. Please, please. Like that X ball is kind of hard. I'm like, here, you need to run. Really like, you stay a little bit so too long. Hit me. An enemy has been like that slain. bludgeon almost costed you your life. Be careful. You're going back in, which is a really bad call. And you're probably gonna die for this. Unless you back off. If you back off, you're fine, but if you go on like this, like you're probably gonna die. Because you're not no You have no idea if they're gonna be coming. That was just really risky by you. And you should have gotten out a lot longer, or a long time ago. Now you're going back to lane. Which, I mean, I guess that's alright. Because, like, he probably would have taken your tower if you had died. Like, if you had died. If you, had, if you had backed before you guys did okay. gold, you probably would have saved your tower. As well as you know, you're like, you're like, you're like, Kronos. That Kronos is blind. He actually could have gotten you for free there. Like, you're overstaying really long. I don't think you should be going into Frostbone right here. I think you should be going into Bulwark. It's like... Uh, you, need the, you need magical protection. Even though they're only magical damage is Kronos, you still need it. Plus the, the passive on Bulwark is super useful. An enemy has been slain. I don't know, I just think like... You're focusing too much on damage right now. And no matter how much you, or no matter what way you build Bologna, she's not really going to do as much damage as like an assassin or a hunter would. So there's no point to really augment her damage. Unless it's something that'll benefit your team like a Frostbound. Your team is which you should be getting in between Breastplate and Bulwark. Because like the attack speed is... Like, the ball is not going to help. The passive is not really going to help either. And the 10, I think it is, is a really uh, there's, there's just a lot of stats on Nicola that won't really benefit you. You shouldn't even be focused on doing damage anyways. Like, your team is has a shit ton of damage. Like, outside of Ged, your team is crazy for damage. So, you don't really need to be building for damage like you are right now. Like, if you go a full tank, I I probably would have been able to be honest. I was gonna die anyway though. Hey, that was a weird slice, but I 
don't think it's even an ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Killing spree. Place a ward for teleport. Okay. So call invading jungle, even though there's nothing there. An ally since you, has been since there's no one in your lane. You wanna definitely keep up that jungle pressure and sort of starve them with XP. This is good too. Going into the wave before you're going to uh, steal doors or whatever. Okay, right now, you have a shit ton of wave pressure and you're just really, really like a beast. Because so if you have health and mana over him, and you just take that tower for an eternity. So you're just, you're kind of just showing him, like, hey, this is my fucking lane. And he doesn't have teleport. So you're, you're gonna be able to take blue, boars, and tower before you can really even get there. So this is a really good play by him. As well as a really bad play by him. You rock! Don't go back to the wheel. Oh shit, yeah, I think they're gonna kill you here. Oh, yeah, gonna kill you. One second away from safety. I think you, the mistake came from going for this wave here. I probably would have gone for the blue buff. All attack right. Because you go for blue buff, that creates like a little bit more space between you guys as well as it gets you closer to your teammates. Right here. Cancel that. So you get a little bit of a safety net. A fine bit of protection. Through your teammates and through spacing. But going through the wave, I think. Sort of a bit. Well, I don't know, because that Kronos was also in the jungle. An enemy has been slain. If I had known that Kronos was in the jungle, I would have backed off, but if I didn't know that he was in the jungle, I probably would have gone for that blue buff. I would have assumed that your team had Place a ward for teleport. No Place a ward for teleport. If I remember correctly. Sorry. A soldier should be prepared. And Urchin is the, I don't know. I don't really like Urchin. We need war. We need war. Because like <sighs> An ally has been slain. Double kill. Excuse me, it's like uh, don't let that seven happen in the again. morning. But Urchin is like you're not building it until after Bulwark. Typically, and by then it's going to stop. So I think Urchin is a little bit weak. It's going down. I think it was in the old in this patch. So. I don't know there's a lot of stats. Effectively, at least. Let's like, yeah, you can finish it. Effectively, I wouldn't go for it. Especially when I haven't built build like that. Attack middle lane! Attack middle lane! Okay. This is pretty good. I'm going to open it. I don't think you should have dove that I think it was so scary. had a cage to under that would have been Enemies have returned. Retreat! Someone needs a nerf. Oh, yeah, Cancel that! Behind us! No! Scylla needs a nerf. Actually, no. Listen. Leave Scylla, but nerf Soul, Soul Stone. Or one or the other. I'd be happy with either one getting nerfed. I'll attack Maybe the Fire Giant. Pop. Just remove it. Okay. Follow oh. me. Okay, yes. You haven't gone for the fire imps at that. all. Sorry. And I'm pretty sure they were in this from around now. At the same time, you have to go for the 
escape them. Which is like, like it's fine, but at the same time, you want every single advantage that you can get in solo, just to sort of punish your lead. Okay. I want to get like, I want to punish the person that I'm doing like that. And I'm not doing the iron, so I'm doing the iron. Especially because you were behind in the early game due to the early rotations and giving up first blood. And he's chasing that merc. I don't know why. Like, he's a merc or he's fast as fuck. And he's got his three plus his all over the I don't know what those two are doing. He should have backed off a while. I don't think he needed to sprint there. I think Gab's got it. He could have just knocked him off and he would have been slain. dead. Ugh. That was so weird. Attack, left Your left team left. has destroyed a middle in a row! Team wants to end right now. I don't think you guys can. You guys need to take the left tower. If you guys don't have the damage to take Titan, and you don't have the tankiness, you and Gap both don't have the tankiness to take I don't think you guys can end. I think you really need to get like, at least one more Phoenix. You actually might be able to now since the team tank. Their team is stupid as hell. Also, all of the loaders do, do the same DPS to towers for everything. early game like really freaking like they they fucked you up like you got a few kills out of it but they put you really far behind in xp to where you were like even with your team and the enemy team like all of them which is really bad if you're a solo lane like you need to be like levels ahead that's why that's why no one really comes to solos because you need that huge level advantage all right we're gonna hopefully go over builds here Next page, please. Please. Damn. Alright. Well. Alright. Um. So you gotta work on your decision making. Um, rotations. What else was there? There was, um, building. Building was kind of off. Like, Ikeval and Urchin aren't super good. I don't think they were good last patch. Or that patch that this was made in. I think it was, like, two or three patches ago. But I don't think they were super good even then. So, I don't think you really need to be building into that. I also think, like, the rotating just screwed you. So, definitely, like, stay in your lane a little bit more. Just because... You, you lose a, a lot of farm in the early game, and that really kind of got you f really far behind in terms of solo. Like, you should be levels ahead of your team, like I said. So, fix building, um, fix your decision making, rotations, and positioning was actually pretty good. So, fix all that, and I can definitely see you being a better player. So, thank you guys for watching. I am ZFSVescore, signing out.